Okay, um, now I've just logged into my other VPS. This one is uh, still uploading the blacklist, so it takes a little while. And sorry, I should have opened up the back end. There you go. So I'll just go into the back end. I just want to show you a few settings. Here's some things that you need to know and be aware of. Um, okay, so um, first of all is customers. You are your own first customer. So when you get set up in the back end, you have a, an account already with your name on it and your email. This is actually the email address that you're actually logging into the system with. Um, so if you click on update, you can actually load a profile picture for yourself if you like. Set your time zone. So I'm in Sydney. Um, you need to put in your date of birth. Uh, I believe it won't let you save anything without it. And just save your changes. Okay, so once that's done, you've got your email blacklist. I've just shown you how to upload that. Um, there's some things that you should know about which is like a delivery servers many people can actually add more than one but uh, at this point because we're using rotating IP addresses we don't need to set up anymore so we'll just go into the settings quickly and here is the port number for your um, power MTA um, there's some few settings in here as well to look at there's things like you can set hourly quota, daily quota, monthly quota. You can pause for so many seconds after each send if you want to. Uh, I don't have that set at the moment, but you can do that. And especially now in our early days, we're actually sending one message at a time, one message per connection. So basically the server is just uh, going through the list. So if you send out 50 emails, for instance, right now, it will just connect one, two, three, four, five, and send them one at a time, but it'll do it much faster than that, of course. You can actually restrict here how many per hour you're sending out, which is a good idea while you're warming up your IP addresses. Um, and so you can do this, log into your back end for you know, the next month or so, and maybe once a week you can increase this. So change that from um, maybe start off with 50 for the first few days, then increase it to 100 then change that to 200 and then 300 and 400. Um, if you do that, you probably should um, change your daily quota as well. At the moment, it's set for 2,400 per day while I'm warming up my list and the monthly quota as well. You don't really need to have a monthly quota in there if you have a daily quota because you're not going to go over your limit anyway. Um, so you can basically just delete these two monthly and daily quota and just have the sending limit um, per hour okay and once you've got that uh, you go down to save your changes oh sorry before I do that I want to show you one other thing uh, domain policies is um, a place you can actually block sending to IP address uh, to different email accounts like AOL for instance um, all you need to do is if you want to add one to that list you just click on the plus um, let's say we want to do hotmail.com and we want to deny that one once we actually save this uh, any emails in our list that are hotmail for instance or any of these won't actually be sent out now, I've already got a hotmail so I'll delete that one as well um, there's people on there that do a lot of complaining about spam emails especially AOL and Hotmail, um, possibly Outlook.com as well. But once you actually do find that you're getting um, rejected by some of these, the best thing is to just stop sending to them for maybe a month or so while you're building up your IP address reputation and your domain reputation anyway, your sender score. Uh, best just to keep that, um, keep away from those people as best you can while you're warming up your list anyway. And maybe later on, you can start allowing them and get your emails going. So, um, let's see, oh, the other thing I want to set up here is my reply to email. 
don't have that in here at the moment. So we save that. Okay, next is we have a bounce server. This should already be set. Um, it will either be, uh, the, the email address will be either bounce or it might be called return. This is just um, where uh, if you get any bounces, they'll come back and be reported here and your, uh, your Power MTA will actually work with MailWiz um, to actually add these to the block list so you don't send to them over and over again. Um, feedback loop servers, you don't need to worry about that. Um, you may have one set up, if not it doesn't matter. But